What's up, y'all? So today, I'm just going to propagate into the realm, as always, right? Right? Just go with it. So, what shall I talk about today? What is this message going to be about today? Well, what some people could be going through at this moment. And really, that is... It's not really a dark night of the soul per se. It's like a, it feels like a dark, a darkness looming. Like, you know, you create all things, you know who you are, you know what you are becoming, but still you have this darkness looming over you. And most likely that has to do with the fact that you still have those attachments to your former life, to who you are as a human you have that attachment and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with having attachment but you have to realize that that really is what is holding you you still care for people you still care for the human experience let go your earthly tether enter the void empty and become wind empty and become wind that is really what holds you back i face it too i go through it all the time it's a balancing effect with me. I have to weigh the obligations of where I find myself against my former life. But I'm still living that life, so you really can't call it former to a certain degree, but I realize who I am. I have woken up. And are the conversations dull? Is this experience boring at times? Could I level say? Could I do a whole host of things outside of me making videos on YouTube that would quantify who I am? I could. I could. Watch it, dumbass! Where the hell did they find you, Greenhorn? Let's get All the vehicles stand clear. The subsea valves failed and the rig is about to explode. What about the men left inside, over? Forget them, they're dead. Greenhorn. Fetch me my binoculars. Greenhorn! I don't know how much longer we Wait, 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 I got some guys in the helipad. But really, I'm still participating in the role that I am playing in. I still care. There's a lot of things that keep us in this spot. There's a lot of things that keep us connected to our lives. And really, you can either blow past that. I know what he did to you. Oh, no, no, I want to hear it from you. No, no, no. Tell me, no. Tell me the whole thing. Don't fucking do this. I want you to tell me the truth and do not even think about it. You fucking killed him, didn't you? You did. Quit your crying. I can't understand a goddamn word you're saying. You little sissy, you make me sick. Oh, well, looky here. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, this is my cell, Jack. Who the fuck are you? Where is Aaron? Aaron's crying off in some corner somewhere. You scared him off. You gotta deal with me now, boy. I'll give you a beating on principle. If you ever come in here with pulling that tough guy shit on Aaron again, I will kick your fucking ass to Sunday. Do you understand me? I understand you. Aaron gets in trouble, he calls you. You're the man. Well, Aaron couldn't kick his own ass. <laughs> I mean, you seen him with the dick, dick, dick. Or you can continue to participate in it. And that's what I've opted into. Because at the end of this, it is an experience. You have to experience. Because... What else is there to do in this apparatus? Experience it, go with it, interact with it, enjoy it, be angry at it, all kinds of things, but 
everyone's experience is different. So to each their own. So now you can't really experience this life and say, oh, I'm, I don't like it, it's boring, it's depressing. I have to go through this mechanically monotonous dialogue day in and day out, which for some can be overwhelming, especially once you get to a certain level. It's just like, we gonna continue to have this same conversation over and over and over again. Wow. Life, life in the, in the big, big city, city. ain't no nothing, nothing like, like it. it. Looks, Looks like, like rain. Has, Has anyone, anyone seen, seen my like hat? hat? It's such a sweet, sweet. Oh, don't have a good day, have a great day. Love that song. That's a new one. And you get to that point. But you really have to take it with a grain of salt. You just have to go with it. It's an experience. I don't like it. Then do something else. No one said you had to continue to emotionally be attached. You could do anything you want. This is a realm of all possibilities. So they may peddle you the 3D version of this realm and, and people may still continue to go with that, but things are definitely changing. For the better, for some, maybe. For others, they're just gonna have to wake up in their own good time. Time. So, where are you at in this journey? Do you know? You gotta ask yourself that and just go with it. So next, switching gears to an old story. There was once an individual, a part of a culture of a hundred entities, and it was a mix of male and female, 50 male, 50 females. And I'm using gender roles in a limited context, but just go with the story. These 100 entities worship the spire that split the sky between light and dark. And one of those 100 entities was curious. Curious about life, curious about how the spire worked, curious about why the spire cultivates their culture. And that curiosity led us to this point. Tumultuously, mind you, but we arrived here. This is what we came all the way down here to... Abu! that destroyed one civilization came a multitude of others created out of that one curious individual's mind. Is that scary to fathom? Maybe for some. But is there more to that story? And I really was going to do an in-depth story tell about that whole thing that led us to this point, but that would make this video a lot longer than I would like. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. I mean, I could if need arise, but until that need arises, I'm gonna just gloss over a little bit and some people will get it, some people won't, and some people will make stories of their own out of it. So we just gotta go with it. You think us the same? You think your tattered soul of equal worth to those I lost? Then come. Earn your place. Prove yourselves worthy to inherit this star.
fitting backdrop for your final judgment. So now, what do we have? What could be said? People still worried about Speaker of the House. People still worried about limited wars that don't really exist. People still worried about uh, sicknesses that are being pushed out onto them by their own government to control. But that's conspiracy talk and, you know, you know how the mainstream hate that. But that's just the way it is. Is this story a crazy rant? Is is everything that individuals like me say is it is it all true? Is it fake? What what is it a conspiracy? Is it lies? What is it? Well, that is really up to your interpretation. Because everything I say, for the most part, is stories that I've been given. Stories that have come to me through the ether because I realize what we are all connected to, what we all are, and I go with it. I may propagate it into the realm, but that's just, that's my prerogative. That's what I want to do. So now you got people who are listening to these messages, who pick up from it, who uh, peddle their own messages based off of messages of others. And we are here at this point. So how does one level set? How does one really get people to listen to the message and actually take heart that certain things, certain measures need to be done in order for your civilization, our civilization to survive? Let us imagine that the laws of reality are again undone and the world faces true annihilation. Do you honestly believe that half your number would sacrifice themselves to save the other? Of course they wouldn't! And if you had witnessed history unfold as I have, you would reach the same conclusion. You cannot be entrusted with our legacy. Really, there's a set number that's supposed to actually make it through to the next round. But that can be seen as cruel. And I really don't want to say that there are people who are expendable because in this realm, we are all one and the same. You have to really get to that notion. You and I are the same being. We are the same people. We share the same cosmic ties. DNA and all that stuff, we may use it to differentiate ourselves, but at the end of it all, we are one and the same. We are closely tied. Because it's in the mind's eye that we exist. So now, sounds like someone's sharpening their knives outside. I'm just saying, I, that's what it sounds like. Just, I'm just like, uh, just go with it. So, with that, we have Saturn. There are people who still don't realize that Saturn's hexagon is a massive station, that most of these elites and organizations that are dedicated to Saturn are dedicated to the very notion that Eden Station is the home of the gods. Home of the gods.
<sighs> Whatever. To each their own, I guess. It's a place that I can call home, yes. It's it's one of the best places to live in this realm. The only main cast from the old world that are actually occupying station at this moment are Ninurta and Ninhursach. Ninurta is acting governor. He was given a key role and key responsibility. He deserved it. So he received it. Anlil is the, the lord of, of station, of Eden. But they left Ninurta in charge. And Ninurta did a great job of guarding their post. And really, a lot of these ancient stories that are being reread and regurgitated and, and, and scrutinized at this moment are showing key aspects of what, uh, what people are saying, especially myself when it pertains to Saturn, because there are very limited people who speak about what Saturn truly is. And that is for reasons, of course, but I will not hide the fact that Station is there. It exists. And for those who are skeptical, there are atmospheric elevational differences when it pertains to Saturn's hexagon that really shouldn't exist unless there are obstacles. Such as mountains or buildings that would cause such a disturbance. But seeing to the fact that there are no mountains or buildings on Saturn and the aspect of being on some type of surface or land, how could that possibly be? Could there be a giant facility there that is in the form of a hexagon? So that's just the way it is. Now we just have to go with that, right? With that being said, this video is getting a little bit longer than I would like. So I will leave you with this. Are you experiencing this life in a manner that shows that you are elevating to the 33rd line? That you are becoming more than what you used to see yourself as more than clothes, more than ego, more than money. You're becoming more. So hopefully your journey is definitely getting you to that point because if it isn't, this isn't the time here for you, I can assure you. Now, with that being said, there's always room to learn. So, with a smile on and positive vibes your way, for the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it.